Welcome back. This is Ryan Higgins, and I'm standing in the cockpit of our uh, new Viking 64 that will be debuting at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show here end of October. The 64 is a culmination of, of several designs throughout the years. Um, I look back really at the, you know, starting with the 60, uh, that was, we had a lot of focus on a traveling boat, a uh, hardcore tournament fish boat, and, and uh, with all the amenities of live well capacity, fish box space, uh, the availability for tuna tubes, and just something that we could really travel the world and fish. Uh, that led into the, the awesome 62 that's been such a popular tournament winning success and, and uh, now on to the 64 and what, what a beautiful boat this has turned out to be. You're going to see starting in the cockpit here, we really, we really stepped it up. We added six inches to the overall length and the proportion of the boat and it just really has a nice feel. Starting at the transom we have a, a beautiful nearly 90 gallon transom live well or fish box. And again, our, our deck boxes, which can either be fish boxes or we can, you know, for the hardcore live bait guys, we can uh, do additional in-deck live wells. The design and layout of it is really set for traveling and, and tournament fishing. It's a very agile size. I mean, getting around on a fish is, you know, the boat's very nimble. And again, the accommodations down below, you're gonna see it four staterooms, three heads. It's a very comfortable boat to travel anywhere in the world. You know, the range that you have on this size model at 2,200 gallons of fuel, that's gonna allow you to travel on your own bottom, you know, through the Panama Canal to the West Coast. And uh, that's what this boat was really designed for. Not only with the fishability, it's the styling of the cockpit. And if you look back at the mezzanine, some nice styling features are gonna be the toe kick in the mezzanine itself. And then you can see the, the toe kicks in the mezzanine bench and the tackle center. Um, they just all really flow, flow nicely with the, with the style of the boat. Tackle wise, we have, you know, for your day tackle, really nice four drawer tackle unit here. Some of the additional options you may see in this area are, are a cockpit grill. Again, as a, as a focus on a traveling boat, a tournament boat, uh, refrigeration and freezer capacity is really big as well. So you're gonna see our, our standard freezer is gonna be in the mezzanine bench here, as well as a really large freezer on the flybridge. We've got a really nice uh, box here for your 540 Eskimo to dump into. And we also get you know, some tournament guys that go ahead and plumb the index fish boxes with, with the Eskimo ice machine as well. You know, we focus so much on, on taking our knowledge from the demo program, what we learned there, having our head designer, our head engineer on board, the Healy family, just the whole collaboration of everybody getting to, getting to use the boat and, and figure out what we need to do better, that's a big part of it. We spend a lot of time on the docks listening to customer feedback at, at several of these tournaments and that, that is a huge role in the design process. And I think you'll really see a lot of that feedback and what we've learned over the years when you step aboard the new Viking 64. You know, as we progress with, with all our vendors, uh, some, some of the newer technology you're seeing on all of the Vikings now on every single one is the, the availability for a sea keeper stabilization. On this boat, you're going to see a really nice rate of roll reduction as we offer the Sea Keeper 26 on this size boat. Uh, one of the really nice features we incorporated in this cockpit is a single Sea Keeper hatch. It gives you a really nice seal, and that's something we've tested on our demo boat here recently this summer. And, and uh, what we all really loved about it was just how tight that seal is. Backing up in rough conditions, you get some water in the cockpit, and, and that area is staying completely dry. So that's been a, a nice addition to this new model. Um, you know, the sonar, everybody's talking about that on, on the tournament trail. Uh, this boat is designed for the, for the Omni sonar and that's, that's been just a piece of equipment that's a must have for the tournament fishermen these days. Thank you for joining us today on the Viking 64. In the next episode, we'll be talking about flybridge design and performance.